Welcome to my vlog. My name's Avery. I'm a middle blocker for Simpson Academy in Koki Volleyball. That's so cringy. Oh my god. Um, welcome to my vlog, basically. Because welcome to the confessional is what Coach Gabe calls this. Um, so I'm sort of talking about practice and maybe that'll kind of get me on like the groove of what I'm supposed to be talking about. I really hope he doesn't put all this in here. Um, so, or we'll just start like in general. Okay, that's a good idea. I've personally been playing volleyball for around five years. Four years at Koki. I think this is my fifth year at Koki. I can't remember. It's it's somewhere along them lines. Um, honestly, I really enjoy it. Like, sometimes I feel very unmotivated Oh, I cannot talk unmotivated to go to like practices and stuff but the games make everything worth it I enjoy hanging out with my team and you know being able to actually have more friends to talk to because I personally feel like volleyball in general has opened me up to more people to hang out with like let's see we have Mo, Mac, Fallon. Oh my gosh, I love Fallon. Y'all, Fallon's just so sweet. She's just the biggest sweetheart ever. EC, Ivy. I mean, there's just so many people that volleyball has honestly opened me up to that I honestly probably wouldn't have opened up to in the beginning. Um, let's see what else can I talk about. I feel like personally, volleyball is a very hard sport to get the hang of. Um, I know a lot of people personally at my school make fun of it because they don't think it's a real sport or they don't think it's hard enough or whatever the reasoning might be. But I don't feel like people really understand how hard it is to get in a group of a sport in general, like running, whatever it is. Um, I don't know what to talk about. Um, so for personally for me, even me being in five years, I still suck at the game, but honestly, it's okay because I feel like slowly I'm getting better and better with the help of Coach Gabe, Coach Sydney, Coach Mia, and then my friends, personally. Um, but yeah, I feel like, I don't know what to talk about now. <laughs> um, I gotta change the subject real quick. What should I talk about? Um, I don't know what to talk about. Okay, please cut this out, Coach Gabe, because it's awkward silence until I figure out what I want to talk about. It's only been three minutes. We'll, talk, well actually, we'll go back to talking about practice today because I didn't finish talking about practice today. So, I see. We started off, actually, I'll just talk about my day in general. So I woke up this morning really late because I couldn't find my phone. It was under my bed, like literally under the mattress thing, and I couldn't find it, and I was really upset. And Mama came in there because I didn't wake up in time. So I was late to school today, and all my classes were really boring. I have a lot of classes this year, and it's fun. Just one thing I found really hard is staying focused. Like once I like come out of school, I'm just honestly – ready to go home and go to sleep but I can't because I have to come here and honestly it's really tiring to immediately like come back here but at the same time it feels refreshing because I know that I have something to do later I guess like I honestly couldn't imagine being home right now like I could but I can't like once school season's over I have to get back in the routine of like only have been volleyball three times a week because for club we don't have volleyball every single day of the week so I'll have to get back in the habit of doing that but yeah um what else can I talk about um coach Gabe posts me a lot on TikTok and stuff and it's always me failing <laughs> I promise you, I don't mess up that bad, like, all the time. Like, I promise you, it's not always that bad. 
<laughs> Y'all, it's so funny. Like, I'll be in school, and I'm like at a really small school, so everybody knows everybody, and whatever. And like, I'll hear someone's TikTok going off of Coach Gabe yelling, and I'm like, great. Like, this is just perfect. So, like, his TikTok is all over the school. So, everybody at school knows about it. So they're probably going to see this. So, hey, y'all. Um, but, yeah, I um, know a lot of people see those videos. I get some hate on them. But, honestly, the hate really doesn't bother me. It kind of, like, inspires me to prove people wrong, I guess. Does that make any sense? I guess. I hope it does. Because, like, <laughs> I don't know. Um, he's like out there waiting for me to finish this. I'm trying to like be quick about it because you guys know. Um, but also I have people who really like push me to be better, I guess. Like people in the comments that believe in me and they'll stick up for me and thank you guys for that. But there's a lot of people who also inspire me. Like we have... There's a girl who names Fallon and she plays college. And oh my gosh, she's so good at what she does and it honestly inspires me. I don't know how we got to this, but we're we're getting there. Um, I think her name's Elena and she's the libero for Louisville. Oh my gosh, I love her so much. She's so sweet. Like I don't met her personally, but she just seems like such a sweet and genuine person. And honestly, that's who I strive to be, even though I, not always a very I'm sorry this like thing's really distracting me <laughs> I really hope my like face is not crooked right now because that would be really awkward um but yeah um okay I don't know what to talk about now okay I keep saying I'm gonna talk about practice but then I get super sidetracked so let me let me actually talk about practice now so practice went really well today, honestly. We did run a little bit, but that's good because I need to run because I'm out of sheep. But anyway, we did a little bit of running today, which was mm, not fun, but oh well. But overall, it was still a really good practice. I feel like we got a lot done today and we're ready for a game tomorrow. Like personally, I feel pumped and ready because the Raquel wall, we're ready. Me and Gigi are the Raquel wall and then Avery McNair, who is also Mackie or McNair, and then Haley are the Barbie wall. But the Raquel, the Raquel wall is better than the Barbie wall, in my opinion. No, I'm just kidding. Barbie wall, we're even. We're tied. We're both amazing. But I just went really good today. My serving was not great. I feel like I need to focus more on what he's telling me personally. And once I get there, I will be unstoppable oh my god don't put that in please don't put that in please oh my god oh please don't put that in <laughs> anyway um i feel like i'll be a lot better once i figure it out um uh see what's another thing i can talk about we did a lot of serving a lot of passing we worked on moving before the ball if that makes any sense and I struggled really bad with that because honestly passing scares me so bad but I, I don't mean for it to scare me like I don't know how to fix it honestly like I see a ball like someone's about to hit at me and I'm just like shaking because I just don't know what to do but I have confidence in myself like I think one of the latest videos he posted on me messing up was the one where I served it under the net like prior from me filming this I guess of me like literally serving it under the net. Like, like why did I do that? But anyway, it's okay, I have confidence. And Caroline was in the background and was like, never mind, she can't serve, but it's fine. Um, I haven't jump served in a while, but I know that's not an excuse. I just need to figure it out. Um, I think I'm gonna do this for just a couple more minutes or maybe like a minute or two. Cause this is really fun. Like I feel like I'm getting a lot off my chest right now, even though I don't have anything on my chest. I just feel like I'm getting a lot off. Um, let's see. I feel like Mia's gonna be mad I don't put her in here, but Mia Williams, my best friend. I love her so much, Mia. Put a little heart. Love you, queen. Um, what else can I talk about? Oh, we'll, we'll keep on with Mia. Honestly, Mia Williams, I feel like personally, she's kind of 
She's kind of one of the reasons I didn't give up. She's also one of the reasons I started playing in the first place because we started playing the same year. I think it was my fifth going to sixth or just fifth grade, I can't remember. But we were both on middle school and she was like, I really want some for the volleyball team. And I was like, okay. And Addison was also really close with us. She was like, okay, we'll do it. So we all signed up and then we just, I feel like volleyball made me and Mia Williams closer personally. That goes along with the friendship thing. And so that makes me really happy that now I have a friend to lean on from just volleyball and she's so sweet and she's always there for me and personally I feel like everybody needs a friend like that and there's not many people who will be a friend like that to you and you just gotta find that person oh we are getting deep I don't like that okay we gotta change the subject um mm, let's talk about honestly I'll probably talk about like one more thing maybe and I'll I'll tell y'all goodbye um so, I'm really excited for the state championship this year. Like, really excited for some reason. Like, I don't know, I'm like, I'm like really pumped to win because the people we play, they're really sweet people, don't get me wrong, but I just, I just can't wait to beat them because we've never beat them before, but we will to this year. This year, I'm coming for blood. Oh, please, also don't put that in, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll re say it, but don't put that in. Coming for blood for a team I will not name out loud because it's just not my business to be putting it on the internet for however many follower, followers. <laughs> yes. I can't talk either. Um, but yeah, um, I'm really excited for it. I feel like personally I've been trying to prepare for it enough or as much as I possibly can, but yeah, I'm pumped. I'm stoked. Really excited. I have like what Coach Cabe calls a chip on my shoulder, I guess. I'm ready. Um, sorry, I popped my neck a lot. <laughs> Let's see what else can I talk about. Um, but yeah, I'm also really sad that we're going to lose our two seniors this year. Like, I'm like upset that we're losing Claire and Ashley. They've been there since the first year I played, which was five years ago, so they've been playing for a while. And Claire's like my mama bear. Like she's such a mom. Oh my gosh, it's so funny. But yeah, I think that's all I have to talk about in my diary today. Thanks for sticking to it for the end, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Bye y'all.